what is going on today, my dudes. So I've been using the Galaxy Z Flip 6 for about a week and felt like that was enough time to put it up against the Galaxy Z Flip 5. And yes, I am rocking the yellow Wolverine cover screen wallpaper on the Z Flip 6, so you know which one is which. And uh, last year, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 was the biggest update to the Z Flip series since it was introduced, offering a much larger outer display for more practical use than we had seen on the Z Flip 4 and 3. However, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 isn't as much of a revolution, but there are still changes under its skin that make it noticeably better. But whether that's worth the higher price is another matter. You also might not be able to afford the price of this phone if you currently work the drive through at Wendy's. I feel your pain. Regardless, it's also hard to tell the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 5 apart from first glance. The two foldables share the same size and weight and the same AMOLED display tech inside and out. Both have 6.7 inch FHD inner screens with up to 120 hertz refresh rate and outer 3.4 inch displays. The one key difference between the build of the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 is their durability. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 uses improved Armor Aluminum and Gorilla Glass Victus 2 instead of original GG Victus to provide a tougher shell than the older model and a stronger and thinner folding mechanism to boot. And this advantage extends to dust and water resistance. The Z Flip 5 has an IPX8 rating, which means it's certified survive against being dropped water, but not necessarily dust or other small particles. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Z Flip 6's IP48 rating gives a Samsung Flip foldable certified dust resistance for the first time, an important extra guarantee that the phone will survive accidents or unfortunate weather. However, one of Samsung's biggest uh, upgrades between the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 is the swapping out of the old foldables 12 megapixel main camera for a 50 megapixel one. This allows for both higher resolution standard photos when required, but also an effective two times lossless zoom mode, just like Samsung's other Galaxy phones with this sensor offer. But here's the thing, guys, if you already own a Z Flip 5, the upgrade just isn't worth it. However, if you don't own a Z Flip phone, then I would highly recommend going for the Z Flip 6 because it's one of the coolest phones in the market right now. Next, I would like to put them head to head in a quick video comparison and then do some gaming with the Z Flip 6 playing World War Z. You can check out more detailed specs for both phones directly below in the description. Don't forget to tap that like and let's run it.
bucket list, I wanted to recommend you guys check out Ignition Poker. You know, I think most of us enjoy playing poker in our free time, and this is a great place to do just that. I've currently been playing on Ignition for the last seven years and regularly tear things up at the mid-state games. They've got amazing software for playing on your phone or PC and also offer you the ability to play both free and real money games. And with lots of cash games running 24 hours a day and millions of dollars in monthly tournament prizes, you should be asking yourself, what am I doing here? I need to check out Ignition Poker ASAP. Of course, if you guys would like to learn more about them, there will be some bonus and resource links for them directly below in the description of this video. Those shots came from the highway. Rescue leader, what's going on? Enemy contact. We're okay, but that sun is going to bring more. We need to you now. Here they come!
into the NBA unfazed. Murray finds Porter. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Drops in the layup for two. Always good to see the young fellow Porter Jr. outwork the opposition on the glass that time. Doncic has got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. And here's Doncic outside. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Jokic, no good. Dallas has gone two of two at the perimeter. Irving, the pass to Doncic. The three. Jokic grabs. 